Health officials are scrambling to solve the mystery of why hundreds of people have developed serious lung illnesses after using vaping devices and e-cigarettes. Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez joins us live from Corpus Christi Medical Center Bay Area this morning. And Roland, uh, are they any close to finding answers here? Uh, good morning, Mike, and good morning, South Texas. Doctor says say there is still plenty of research that needs to be done. And here's the scary thing, Mike. In just the past few weeks, 13 people have died due to vaping. So people try them and they say, oh. Vaping has been around for years, but it really didn't start to gain popularity until 2015, especially with teens and young adults. E-cigarettes are battery operated devices that can heat a liquid solution, turning that liquid solution into a vapor that can be inhaled. Doctors say vaping is posing a serious health crisis. There are a lot of toxic compounds that can be found in these uh, e-cigarettes or e-liquids. Those toxic chemical compounds can cause some diseases. That's why they are dangerous. In Corpus Christi Medical Center, we have reported about 12 cases of vaping-induced lung injury and I myself um, have taken care of about four patients due to this disease. Dr. Chinaka Bulansinghala with the Corpus Christi Medical Center says just like cigarettes whose dangers weren't initially known, long-term effects aren't known about vaping. Researchers have found out a lot of chemical substances that could be toxic to human body. I'll give you a few examples. Formaldehyde, the ones we are using in embalming industry chemical substances like diacetyl, which can directly cause lung damage, benzene that is linked to leukemia, and THC, which is an addictive component we, found, uh, we find in marijuana uh, products. Dr. Bulansinghala says vaping is dangerous, and he is now seeing the effects as illnesses have cropped up, not only here in South Texas, but in almost every state. Usually, People present with respiratory symptoms, cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, and fatigue are four most common symptoms. Fever, wheezing, nausea, and vomiting also has been reported. And of course, we will have more information on vaping on our website later this morning at KRASTV.com. Now let's head back to the studio, check in with Mac and our morning weather. Mac. Thanks.